Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So we are here again in another series of uh, our webinar for USANA Philippines entitled Basic Micronutrients Your Children Should Have. So my name is Jen. I am the pharmacist for USANA Philippines and another responsibility that was given to me to serve our associates better is to be your field development manager for the Philippine market. So uh, for the past few months, we have been talking a lot about use animals and I have uh, received certain suggestions of topics that may be discussed so that you will have a deeper appreciation of uh, this particular product as well as a broad knowledge about nutrition for children. So as we start, of course, as we speak about nutrition for children, growth involves much more than just development of children's bodies. It is incredibly intricate and balanced in terms of the variation of the changes in their growth, physiological activities, as well as the hormones of children. And what are we trying to point out here? Napakahalaga na naiintindihan natin ang growth o paglaki ng bata dahil maraming mga anatomical na mga pagbabago or mga parts of the body that changes such as the growth of their bones, such as the changes in their skin and their hormones that happen each and every day as they grow up. While growth in childhood is slower than in infancy or adolescence, energy output is high. Why? Because there's the time that they have to have a hard play period and hard play period involves running, jumping, and even testing new physical skills. That's why kung mapapansin niyo, every year as they push through school, iba-iba yung mga physical activities that are introduced to them in school and those require certain amount of high output energy. And in line with that, in addition to providing fuel for growth such as the food and the others, a child's diet must also provide accumulation of different nutrients that the body needs, which actually is our micronutrient and macronutrient. So as we check on perspective, what are we feeding our children? So based on NYC Health, they are suggesting that a healthy plate should actually involve vegetables, good proteins, and good starch such as rice, bread, and the others. Alongside with that, they also uh, would like to advise parents to give their children good amounts of water and even good amounts of milk that should be taken every day. But unfortunately, one clinical study after another shows that our children do not receive all this nutrition that they need from diet. That's why what happens is most doctors would resort to giving them good amounts of supplementation, but the question is, how do you choose the quality? So in addition to the problems that is caused by hot fat intake, also caused by high saturations of fat in the diet, many children are not just getting essential nutrients. Actually, there was even a study that less than 25% of young people that are recommended to eat five servings of fruit and vegetable a day did not really meet the nutrients that they're supposed to get. And of course, some people are unaware that with the low value or the low quality of our fruits and vegetables, we cannot really say that food may be enough to provide the sufficient nutrients your body needs, particularly for children. They say that adequate amounts of nutrients such as zinc, vitamin B6, magnesium, calcium are actually missing in the 50% of diet that are observed from 2 years old to 10 years old. And not only that nutrition is important in their developing years, we also have to remember that maintaining optimal health is a lifelong challenge. And we as parents and even those who have children with them has to be aware that this has to be given. So as they grow old, their body changes, their physiolo physiological factors changes, and they need certain vitamins and minerals to help assist their need. So here in USANA, we would like to give you some information that, that you have to know or that we should know, particularly in giving nutrients and giving supplementation for children. So one of the key ingredients or the key vitamins that has to be present in your child's diet are actually the vitamin C, D, E. Easy to memorize, basic in the alphabet, vitamin C, D, E. For some people, they don't realize how important vitamin C is. Vitamin C is important in a lot of developmental factors and developmental changes for children such as skin, such as cartilages, and even as simple as metabolism and wound healing that is involved in healthy growing children. 
Aside from that, vitamin C is also a very good source of antioxidant that maintains good health for children. Alongside with that, we also want to make sure that children get appropriate levels of vitamin D because vitamin D plays an important role in a lot of enzymatic reactions in the body. Remember, vitamin D helps us also absorb calcium, use phosphorus, and maintain immune function in children because we all know that vitamin D is a cellular food, particularly has an effect with your DNA. Another vitamin that should be crucial in your child's diet is actually vitamin E because not only that it is good for the skin, vitamin D has also shown probable effects and good effects against free radical, particularly in improving the red blood cells of children to prevent or delay possibilities of urgent anemia that may happen as they grow. And of course, we have to know that eye health depends on vitamin D, vitamin C, and even vitamin E. So alongside with that, we have to be aware that this has to be present in the vitamin or in the supplementation of your children. Many studies show that we do not receive, we do not receive rather, nutrition we need from our diets. And because we do not receive such, we need to make sure that we supplement or we find alternative sources of these nutrients that is received by your children every day. So remember, your supplementation is not just when you say na kailangan mo lang siya ngayon kasi parang nanghihina yung anak mo, but rather supplementation is a daily commitment for your children so that they can attain good health. Alongside with that, okay, we also need to make sure that your children get appropriate beta-carotene and B vitamins. As we speak of beta-carotene, beta-carotene is converted to vitamin A and vitamin A helps in the development and the maintenance of the children's eyes, skin, and even the proper functioning of the immune system. Alongside with that, as we speak of B vitamins, ito ho yung mga kilala nating vitamin B1, B6, B12, and alongside with that, we, should, we need to make sure that children get not only those limited numbers of B complexes, but also those of your biotin, niacin, riboflavin, thiamine, and pyroloxine, even your cyanocobalamin that is needed to make sure that metabolism is at its finest for your children. Pantothenic acid, riboflavin, and vitamin B6 helps improve the tissue formation of children, especially in their growing years and their uh, metabolism development as they grow old every single day. So alongside with that, some people are unaware that B complexes play a very important role in the transport of oxygen. And remember, oxygen in the blood is actually a very good source of nutrient and a very good source of nutrition for your body, particularly your brain and other aspects of vital organs in your body. Also, you have to make sure that you have very good sources of B complexes. Why? Because they have detoxification activities in the body, particularly rather removing carbon dioxide from the body, which is we know toxic sa mga bata. And ladies and gentlemen, why are we discussing such? Simply because some parents would say that food is enough. However, in the daily diet of your children, especially if they're eating lifestyle reiterated foods, medyo nakukulangan talaga tayo ng sources ng biotin, niacin, riboflavin, thiamine, and other B vitamins. And ladies and gentlemen, if you would check the label of your vitamins, kadalasan, butas-butas yung B complexes that they could offer and they do not really give the comprehensive B vitamins your children should receive every day. So na-discuss na natin yung vitamin C, D, E, beta-carotene, B vitamins, but alongside with that, your children also needs what we call the bone vitamins. And this is what you call your calcium and something for the thyroid gland and something for the enzymatic reactions of your children or the body of your children, the iodine. Of course, very well known, calcium is needed by the body for healthy bone, muscle, teeth, hair growth, and of course, metabolism. But alongside with that, when combined with good levels of vitamin D, they're very much important in actually delaying the risk of osteoporosis for children or even making sure that they grow tall and making sure that their skeletal muscles and skeletal system develop in terms of making sure that dapat yun ay same with the requirements with their body. 
Remember ang mga bata, sobrang bilis ng kanilang changes in the body, sobrang daming mga challenges in terms of physical activity that they have to do, particularly in school, and kailangan yung body nila mabilis mag-adapt sa mga pangangailangan na ito. Also, isa sa mga vitamin or nutrient rather that should be present in your children's vitamin is what we call the iodine. Remember, children and all of us have what you call your thyroid glands and thyroid glands are important in releasing hormones that make sure that we have healthy brain development, healthy protein synthesis, healthy metab metabolic function, and a lot of enzymatic activity. You have to make sure that iodine is of normal level or is at present level in the body so that we can ensure normal growth and normal development in children. And syempre, hindi pwedeng mawala dyan yung magnesium and zinc. Remember, magnesium is a DNA food and is a cofactor of more than 300 enzymes in the body. Alongside with making sure that your calcium is absorbed well, magnesium also supports the bone growth, the teeth growth, and even the tissue formation and muscle formation of growing children. And syempre, para mabawasan yung mga mabibilis na reactions against colds, flu, and immune system related condition, kailangan present din sa vitamins ng mga bata ang, what, ang tinatawag natin na zinc. Zinc is actually very important in the growth and development of children, particularly in their metabolism, skin, and even connective tissue formation, and of course, what we call the immune function. Konti lang ito sa mga pangangailangan ng mga bata. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, based on statistics, the vitamins that we have discussed has been very, very few in terms of numbers sa mga present diet ng mga bata. So alongside with that, once again, ano ba yung mga dapat na present sa isang magandang vitamin? Dapat tandaan natin that they contain or they should contain magnesium, zinc, calcium, iodine, beta-carotene, B vitamins, and when I speak of B vitamins, the complete form, which are the following, the biotin, niacin, riboflavin, thiamine, pyridoxine, pantotenic acid, and even cyanocobalamin so that we can make sure that there is a normal support system for your children in terms of growth and development. And syempre, kadalasan, pag tinatanong natin, how do we bridge the nutritional gap? So the best way to bridge the nutritional gap is to make sure that you find a very good supplementation that contains arrays of antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, and particularly being sure that the amounts designed is re really, really available for the active growing children. Remember, in these animals, what makes this unique? It is actually a product that contains vitamin D and zinc, and alongside with this, this contains very good levels of vitamin C and selenium that support normal and healthy immune function of children. Alam naman natin that vitamin E is actually very important because of its antioxidant level that maintains strong cell membranes. But also, this particular vitamin has a lot of antioxidants that is very much important in the collagens in the bones, in the cartilages, in the muscles, and the blood. Vessels. And advance din ang level ng calcium of this particular supplementation because this contains also magnesium and vitamin B that support healthy bone and skeleton structure, particularly din strong feet, strong teeth for children. And ang maganda pa dito is that we are using what we call the ferrous fumarate a very conservative form of iron that makes sure that your children attain good blood levels as well as normal healthy energy that is needed by your children every day. Remember, your children has to be active and in being active, they have to make sure or we as parents have to be sure that they are getting sufficient nutrients and sufficient vitamins that could help them in this growing needs or this growing requirements that they have. And with that, all right, what makes USANA so different? USANA, or USANA, uh, particularly as a company, has designed a specific vitamin for children we call the USANIMALS. USANIMALS, which we call the, the USANA Children's Essentials, is actually an advanced formulation that contains vital nutrients necessary for healthy childhood. And as we speak of healthy childhood, good nutrition plays a critical role in everyone's health. 
It's actually so important that as parents, we understand that children never stop growing. Remember, from birth to the end of adolescence, kilo by kilo, lumalaki ang mga anak natin. And a five-year-old child, for example, needs more thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, or even vitamin A and C dahil ibang-iba ang pangangailangan nila at mas advanced as they get older and older and older. And with that, you have to remember that not only that you consider the ingredients, you have to also make sure that you get or your vitamins get the best sources. Here in USANA, what makes us so unique is that we have balanced blends of nutrients that not only is good for the body, but in USANA, we believe that the quality of raw ingredients is utmost important. And with that, with USANA, we make sure that we use only ingredients that are of high quality to ensure maximum purity, potency, and bioavailability. And since we know USANA yan, syempre USANA makes the best in terms of vitamins and minerals that your children need every day. And as we speak that your children should need to get the right nutrition, let us all understand once again that USANIMALS or the USANA's Children's Essential is so important that has to be present in the diet of our children so that we can make sure that they get and they receive the nutrients they need every day. Being healthy can be fun. And a lot of people are unaware that being healthy should also mean that you have to give vitamins and minerals that are vegetarian safe. With use animals, what makes us so unique? Our use animals has been created in a laboratory tested, quality guaranteed, and actually, USANIMALS meets the British Pharmacopoeia in terms of specifications of potency and uniformity. Siguro you have been asking, if I take these vitamins or if I give this rather to my children, paano ba ang dosing yan? Here in the Philippines, what we commonly practice in terms of the dosing is that we give USANIMALS for 2 to 4 years of old ng 1 um, chewable tablet a day. And then for children 4 years old and older, we give them 2 Chewable tablet, preferably we give this with meals. Just a friendly reminder, you've heard the word chewable. It means that you should not or your child should not swallow the tablet, but kailangan ichu niya for better effect. What's the USANIMALS advantage? The USANIMALS advantage is that this vitamins provides a balanced formula of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants for children aged 2 to 12 years old. Alongside with that, if you're looking for a vitamin C, D, selenium, and zinc support for the immune health, we have, it, we have that in our use animals. Also, in terms of calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, C, we also have that in this particular children's vitamins that is so important for the strong bones, muscle, joint, and teeth health of your children. Kung usapang B-complexes lang, we have the complete array of B-complexes that are needed by your children, particularly in making sure that we meet the nutrition required for their healthy and very active lifestyle. And as we speak of overall growth and development, we have zinc and iodine that is very important for such need of the children. And since gawang nyo sana yan, our use animals has been based in the essentials formula, which is the flagship product all right, of USANA, particularly in terms of supplementation due to its clinically relevant nutrient that has provided the nutritional needs of our body every day as adults. This is an easy-to-eat tablet or chewable tablet that has animal imprint on it, yogurt flavor that can be easily enjoyed by your children every day. So as you can see on this part of this presentation, I have attached here the references which you can research or you can read on so that you will know more on what makes this particular children's vitamins different from the others. Know the USANA difference. And as you speak of USANA difference, USANIMALS is actually a very good vitamin because this contains your daily vitamin, mineral, and antioxidant needs that is very critical for the growing needs of children. So once again, this has been your pharmacist for USANA Philippines. And this is our simple and easy to understand webinar in terms of children's health, which you call the basic micronutrients your children should need every day. Thank you for attending our webinar for the month of June. Next month, watch out for another webinar that we will be having, and this will be scheduled on July 10, and we will be talking about 
Vitamins and Minerals, Understanding Your Nutritional Supplementation. This is a very timely uh, webinar because we will be discussing important nutrients that are needed by adult, so this time adult naman, so that you would appreciate further the vitamins and minerals that you should be adding to your body every day. And also a simple reminder for the month of July, our product trainings will be moved for Friday. So no more Tuesday trainings. Instead, we will be having our Take Charge of Your Health. This is a every Friday meeting at Dr. Wen's room on July 7, 14, and 21. So I hope to see you from 7 to 8 p.m. Join us in the product trainings and know more about USANA. No more about this life-changing product that has been changing the health and the wealth of a lot of people. So value your health, share the vision of Dr. Marion Wentz, and again, thank you for learning with me. This has been Jen. Have a great evening, and we are USANA. Indeed, we are changing the world. Thank you so much. Bye!